Hello everybody, welcome to the United Stand. Is it time to worry about the situation Manchester United are in? A raft of reports this morning about very concerning financials at United. £300 million owed in previous transfers, a very small transfer budget, the Glazers holding the purse strings, not wanting to spend. Um, is this time to worry? It, how serious is it? And how impactful is it going to be when you've got teams like Liverpool being linked to Sir Bosley after McAllister? They're also in for Gravenberg, Turam. You've got Arsenal spending £100 million on one player in Declan Rice, and they've gone for Havertz. Man City will spend. Newcastle have bought Tonali. Chelsea are going to spend big, and United are sat there doing nothing. There is no progress if you do nothing. Eric Ten Hag got United into the Champions League and won a trophy. He wants to go to the next level. There can be no progress if you do nothing. So, of course, I think it is time to worry. And there will be doubters. Doubters will say the same old thing. It's only the end of June. The transfer window is open for two more months. Not time to panic yet. But it is time to panic because it's not just about what you spend. I believe and have confidence we will spend. It's also about when you spend. If you have family, friends, girlfriends, boyfriends and Christmas is coming and you buy your presents early, there's two advantages to that. One, you'll pay a good price and two, you will buy things before they're sold out. If you wait until the day before Christmas, the things you want will probably be gone. The price may well have gone up and you'll probably end up spending big on things other people don't really want. And that is why this whole, oh, we don't need to panic yet. We do need to panic yet. We were meant to be getting Kim Min Jae, not going to get him. We were meant to be getting Harry Kane, not going to get him. We were meant to be getting Rabio, not going to get him. Ten Hag would like to have got Bellingham, Rice, Casido, not going to get them. We are moving into the territory of, yes, we'll spend money, but we will spend money on things that Ten Hag didn't actually want as a priority. So, yes, it is time to worry and it is all being impacted by the Glazers. So this is what the Manchester Evening News has had to say in their article this morning. While figures at Man United insist the Premier League's profitability and sustainability rules, FFP, um, are, is limiting their power in the transfer market, external sources maintain the biggest obstacle to Ten Hag's transfer window is effectively the Glazers. Uh, surprise, surprise, this is something that we've sp spoke about for a while now on here. And oh, what's this? Surprise, surprise. Um, the uh, sources have suggested that United's budget is around 120 million supplemented by player sales. This is also something we've been talking about for a long time on this community. So obviously the information we're getting is correct. The budget will is an 120 million quid. And as I said this morning, if you buy Mountain and Anana, that's the budget gone. The only way then is to buy players. As is to, the only way to buy players is to sell players. But over the last few years, we've only sold £60 million worth of talent. So we need another 100 and we're not very good at selling. So it is time to worry because people go, I want this player, I want that player, I want this player. I and many of you sit there and go, are you not reading the room? Like... You know, it's like going down Tesco with, you know, a fiver and trying to spend 20 quid. You've only got a fiver. And that's where United are. There's lots of things we need to do, uh, but we cannot go and do it. We cannot afford to do it. United are in trouble and how they spend their money at the moment is really precarious. I heard a story the other day that a member of staff at Old Trafford went across to Tesco to buy a meal deal. John Murta stopped them at the door and says, you can't afford it. The member of staff said, it's coming out of my own money. They went, oh, big show off. You don't need to work here then, you're fired. This is how bad things are at United at the moment. Every penny counts and it's chaotic. The scary thing is it all comes down to cash flow. If you look at United's revenue that's predicted to be record 640 million, we can look at revenue on previous years and we're lucky most years if we make profit of 100. If we are making profit of 100 million and we owe 300 million on transfers and we owe debt repayments and everything else, there's that profit gets swallowed up very, very quickly. So we are basically kicking the ball down the road. We're not quite Barcelona, but we're not far off. The Glazers put no money in. In fact, they take money out and we owe money. 
We owe money on transfers. We owe money and debt. And the Glazers don't put any money in. So our only cash flow comes from what the club creates itself as revenue. And that's problematic because obviously last year we bankrolled Casemiro and Anthony right at the end of the window desperately. But that money would have been borrowed from somewhere. You've got to pay it back. And United just don't have that cash flow anymore because if United weren't in debt and we make 650 million quid and you know our costs are 450 you've just made 200 million pound profit 200 million pound profit where do you want to put that where do you want to put that but under the current regime 200 million pound profit well we have got debt repayments you know we have got these obligations we've got that so this is the problem at united it's cash flow and that's why they pretend it's financial fair play but we all know united don't have the cash even if on paper it says there's 100 million pounds of profit. That profit's never going to be used for transfers or anything like that because it will already be going to dividends in the past, but obviously debt repayments and everything else. The club is not fit for purpose anymore. It doesn't work. And on top of that, you've got to magic a couple of billion to build a stadium. You've got to do infrastructure. The club's not fit for purpose. It doesn't work. And so they use financial fair play as the stupid excuse we've ridiculed for weeks. But actually... The big problem United have is there's just no cash flow in the club. There's money owed here, there and everywhere. There's spend that needs to go on this, that and the other. And the money's just not there. Because if you've got Abu Dhabi, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, they can bankroll a lot of things. Obviously, you can't bankroll financial fair play because there is the rule of revenue against transfers. You can do that in a different way. But you can bankroll a stadium. You can bankroll infrastructure. And United can't do that under the Glazers because the day Glazers don't want to bankroll anything. They want to debt. They want to, you know, remortgage. That's what they want to do. So it all comes back to the same thing. And obviously, it directly impacts on Eric Ten Hag right here, right now. We're in talks with Mason Mount. We're in talks with Anana. But once those talks solidify and become deals, your budget's gone. And that is why it's time to worry. Because we can all wander into the local shop and go, I want that, that and that. But then when you realise you haven't got the budget for it, that's when reality strikes. So it is time to worry. At the moment, it's very seriously time to worry. The only way out of this issue in the short term is selling players. And we are terrible at it. People need to shut up about the sale. People need to shut up about that. They really do. Because that's not going to save the immediate transfer window. I said this to you over a week ago. I said, it's already gone. It's already dead. Stop kicking it. It's over. This transfer window cannot be resuscitated into a Qatari transfer window or a Sajim transfer window. It is a Glazer transfer window. We've not sold the club. Even if we did sell the club, you've still got to go through all the authorities and the checks. So it wouldn't happen until probably late August at the earliest. This is a Glazer transfer window. How do you solve the problem here? Stop looking at next summer or, you know, hypotheticals. How do we solve this summer? Because it's time to worry. They have to sell their way out of it. Literally sell the club, please. But in relation to the transfer window, £120 million to spend. We know that won't go far. Where's the rest coming from? It has to come from sales. We've got to look at the players and we've got to go. Dean Henderson, Harry Maguire, Scott McTominay. There's £90 million there straight away. Even if you sell some of them cheap. Brandon Williams, Alanga, Fred, there's probably another 30 million there. This is what they've got to do and they've got to do it quick. David De Gea doesn't, you know, for me, David De Gea is a red herring. Really, I think David De Gea is a cost-saving exercise. I think the only chance he stays is if United decide they can't spend £50 million on a keeper because they need to spend it elsewhere. And they're the things you should be worried about. And that is why it's time to worry. Because if we are not going to sell well, we are going to restrict that budget. And £120 million is crap. I mean, that's basically what Arsenal have just spent on rice. And we've got to get four or five players with that at the moment. We've got to sell to buy because it's a Glazer summer. And that's where we are. And that's why it's time to worry. There's no cash flow. It is what it is. And until we get new owners, which won't impact this transfer window, it is time to worry. We've got to pretend, we've got to stop pretending Qatar is going to save us this window. We've got to stop pretending we've got £300 million to spend. Harsh decisions will have to be made. Am I getting a holding midfielder or a centre-back? Am I getting a striker or a goalkeeper? These things are on the table at the moment. 
Smash a like and subscribe.